Mark, do you know what one of the biggest problems is in real estate in the Somerville and really the whole Charleston market right now? Um, finding a place to live. Finding a place to live. Well, <laughs> a lot of people, if only there was a way, if yes. only there was a way to pick one of these amazing model homes uh, from one of these builders, they're doing gorgeous work, Yes. but put it on your own piece of ground because maybe you don't want to live in a neighborhood with an HOA. Or you want more than like 0.18 acres. Or you want some, you know, if you, if you have a two acre piece of property and you want to put a great home on it, Guess what? We found the solution. Well, if you guys don't know us, my name is Mark. This is Jeff. We're with the Charleston Area Living Group, and we help people just like you buy, sell, invest, and relocate to the area. And we help people build, too. Yeah. Right from the ground up. Um, we have people that reach out all the time asking us different questions about the area, you know, different neighborhoods, 55 plus, non 55 plus. And now we have a solution uh, for building on your own lot, too, is what it's called. For right? instance, what if we got a call? Hi, uh, yeah, is this Mark? Yes, um, I would love to have a brand new home from a beautiful builder, great house, but I want to put it on my own piece of property. Do you have an option for that? We do have an option for you that. You do have an option for that. Yes, now. it's amazing. Yeah, we met the other day, our team, we, we all went over to uh, North Creek Village. It's in Nexton, right mm -hmm. over by Cane Bay. Uh, it's a true homes neighborhood, and they have an option now. Uh, they've already started doing it. They've got, they're actually swinging hammers on some properties. Yeah, and they see some video of that. From from what we've seen, they look really nice. Yeah, too, be right? beautiful houses. It's a semi custom home builder. Yep, and um, they're now doing a build on your lot program. Um, first of all, let me just tell you this too. If you want to talk more about this. We are available for you. You can actually go right into our calendars by clicking the link in the description below, and that'll schedule a Zoom call. So whether you're here locally or not, um, you know we can do that right through the Zoom call. It'll access our calendars and you know it'll give you our availability, so we can talk more about this as well. If you want to come in in person and do it, you can also schedule a meeting right here in our office in Nexton. Um, so we can do that as well. We can even do the meeting in this room here and then give you the video and yeah. send it to your friends and family. Right. Like or at Christmas time. Some, or somebody might want to rewatch it or something yeah, yeah. like that. Who wouldn't want to keep rewatching right? this over and over and we, over? We look good. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, it's a great option for somebody that has a piece of property or uh, even if you want to go out and buy a piece of property. But uh, one thing I really noticed when we sat with them is this guy is really knowledgeable about, you know, there's special yeah. circumstances surrounding properties like this. And it's great to have that contact. So if you're wanting to purchase a property and build on it, um, we've got a contact that can kind of look at the land before we put in a contract mm -hmm. to make sure that all the right things are in place. It's not going to be perfect. He doesn't know everything from just looking at it, of course. Um, but it'll be great starting point. He can you tell think? by looking online, you know, about flood zones, and we can do that also, yeah. and, and, and wetlands. But like when you're looking at a piece of property to build a house like this on, what I kind of figured out is it's all about the water and the sewage. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it does this property, does it have city water, city sewage? If not, can we put in the, you know, the, the fields and, and the, the septic systems either the old school septic or the engineered septic, because there's a big price difference between those two. Yep. And getting a feel for, uh, you know, what that's going to look like before we even purchase the property would be super important. Yeah, because some of these septic systems, I mean, the engineer ones can go thirty, forty, uh, fifty thousand yeah, dollars. Totally. And and the normal ones are in the teens of thousands yep. of dollars. Yeah. You know? and, and then there's, you know, it, it costs about what eleven, twelve hundred dollars to get the the property parked. Uh, that's where they just kind of go out and check uh, how quickly the, the it drains. So you can determine from there what type of system you need to put in. Uh, listen, I'll be honest with you. We are not septic experts. No. We know just enough to call the right people uh, to get out there and, and take a look at the property. That's why it's so important you have a realtor with the right resources. And now we do. We yeah. build on your lot and True Homes is the, the builder. Um, the other thing I was thinking uh, a little bit about is, you know, there's there's all these other cost aspects into building. Um, if you can find a cleared lot, it's a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't have to be cleared. It's, it's, 
Um, they are not, the builder is not able to do that, but they'll put us in uh, touch with the right resources to do that. And then, you know, depending on where you position your home as well, um, having a 2000 foot long driveway is going to dramatic, dramatically yeah. increase the costs of that home as and, well. And as far as the homes go, you can do uh, any of their models and more. So one of the things that I think we were shocked to find out is not, we kind of expected when we went into this meeting, okay, yeah, we can do a ranch, you know, we do a, a 1,400 yeah, square five or six plane, huge, uh, but we could do five car garage. We could do, um, you know, an ex a home with a two car garage and then an additional outbuilding with- For your mother-in-law. Or in another state, that's fine too. <laughs> Either one, they could do that too. Uh, but here's the one that really surprised me is it, for investors. These guys have the ability to put up duplexes, condos type homes, four investment, yeah, a fourplex. Um, so I think as far as an investment goes. As long as it's zoned properly, As right? long as it's zoned, they're a great option for this also. Yeah. So let's listen to Dr. Charles a little bit. Yes. Um, he's not a real doctor. No, I just, just call him Dr. What Charles. Mark calls. So. I actually have no idea why he calls him Dr. <laughs> Charles, but I actually call him Dr. Charles now because Mark did. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get a few snippets from him on that. And then if you have questions, definitely let us know, but we'll be right back. Monk Corner, like Goose Creek, just kind of this area. It's about logistics, right? Yeah. And, and what I tell clients when I get calls from our ISC department, what about John's Island, what about James Island? Like, mm -hmm can't do it right now right right just because i can't logistically maneuver from a builder perspective from mum's corner to mm -hmm. john's island yeah. right mm -hmm. and still hit all the other houses and deliver an experience the customer deserves mm -hmm. right so it's all for us it's all about experience and not over committing geographically mm -hmm. and not being able to do what you need to do so mm -hmm. we've got uh, i've got meetings next week after next in corporate we're laying out the the staffing plan for 2024 and that's one of our big things is, hey, we need to add one more builder so that we can geographically expand into some of those markets. Um, we're also in the final stages in purchasing right now, or estimating, um, we've designed a drive under plan. So I bought a lot in Mount Pleasant. Um, so I'm building a, so it's off of Lehman, so across from Costco on the um, ocean Carolina side. Park. Yeah, so, um, That's awesome. so we're, we're gonna build a, 31, 3200 square foot drive under, um, four bedroom on a 0.6 acre lot. Hmm. It's gonna be magnificent. So I think we'll be over a mill on that one for sure. Yeah. Um, but we'll do well. But I, we're gonna be the low cost provider. That, that whole market in Mount Pleasant, John's Island, James Island, because we priced a margin not to market <clears throat> on a build. So people can have a, a pretty darn nice equitable position when they close mm. uh, once we enter those markets. So first, we want to build it ourselves first. We're, we're the guinea pig, right? <laughs> Work out all the bugs and all that, and then we'll go back and build a portfolio of products around that single build that we do. So by maybe Q1 next year, we'll have a you know full offering of plans that are drive under, which I think is a, another opportunity. We'll have staffing to be able to achieve that. Uh, build cycle. But if somebody has property now in Somerville where you're currently working, you guys are ready to pull the trigger on this. Yeah, yeah I've got 15, I bought 15 lots in the last couple of months, which has been really hard. Uh, the market's yeah. super tight, mm. but I've been like, within minutes, I'm like, boom, go, run at it, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, I've got some incredible stuff coming. Um, I got one amongst corner in uh, Sterling Oaks that'll be live next week at the MLS. Um, mm. So it's gonna be like the five, 585 for 3,100 square foot on a third of an acre. <clears throat> it's gonna be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, average time on market there is 16 days. I'm priced to the market, so I think it'll move pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Got a 3,100 square foot three, gar three car garage home on New Oak Lane, which is off of Cypress in between 17 and 52, on a third of an acre and a third, uh, wooded. It's mm -hmm. beautiful deck off the back. It's Everything we build is on a raised foundation too, so it's a 24 inch stem wall, so you step up into the house. Mm -hmm. It's got a different fit and feel, mm -hmm. uh, but that's cement fiber. It's, it's a, I took, an, uh, I took the, the model at Homecoming, the last model of Riley, and took that plan, added a third car garage, and then got a little, got a little excited on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little excited on that one when I built that one, but it was, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna blow people's socks off with some of the things we can do. Mm. And those are like spec builds, right? So I got five houses in Somerville, six that are coming, actually seven, 
what a nice nice town I just put in the system this morning um, so we've got a lot of opportunity there are plans that we can build that are 50 65 foot wide side low garage side low plus courtyard so you can do four car you can do five car we can get up up to 43 4400 square feet tens nines elevens tens you know whatever you want within the platform that we have we got to sleep we don't run custom so what I tell people is, you know, we can't just move a wall and put the mm. the, the eight thousand dollar tub that you saw on HGTV in there, yeah. right? But I can plumb it. Per well, you guys have done more custom stuff for us than than most other oh, builders. Sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. We, absolutely. Uh, not moving walls, but we've moved things around with yeah. some of the builds that you guys have done, right. even in, in this neighborhood. Yeah, and even with those guys as well, like I mean, with elevations, like oh, yeah. you can get like crazy creative yeah mm -hmm. at most times I mean, yeah. they're always like working within the an HOA or yeah. battens uh, yeah. on the front put metal different places so if I own a piece of property and I want to put it through homes I, do I have uh, do I have access to every one of your models in the Charleston market so so if you can that put can it in anything. North Creek you can put it on my property and more uh, yeah. and more yeah, okay yeah. I can build things that they don't build in the neighborhoods okay so mm -hmm. yeah so it's the whole true homes portfolio yeah yeah mm -hmm. so like if somebody wanted a you know a four car garage mm -hmm. we would have a solution to 100%. come up with that I can do a two car with a I can do a two car side load with a two car courtyard I can do a two car side load with a uh, frog like broken off with two cars under that with the living on top ADU type scenario okay so it's it's pretty incredible um and our kind of our cost structure works you got your lot cost right it's all construction and permit financing uh so we do a draw schedule right so you got your lot cost you've got your site evaluation we go out and do so we go out and look at the site and look at where do you want the house what's the clearing look like where is it well septic is it um you know city water and sewer depending on where you're at mm -hmm. is it perk is it engineered not engineered right all these factors that are really intricate and tell for mm -hmm. a traditional person that we walk through that with them yeah um, so your drive is it going to be concrete is it going to be chat is it going to be how, how you want to do it right mm -hmm. and then we uh, go back and get all the costs for that and we present that to the buyer they say yay or nay mm -hmm. right and that's a lot cost so we're locking ourselves up to that cost right mm -hmm. and then you've got your floor plan costs your elevation cost your and then your structural and design just so so once you get past the side eval, all that's just traditionally what you would have building in a neighborhood. You're just building on your own lot. Mm -hmm. With the same efficiency, you still have a design of you still have all those. Things. So window uh, washers. Oh, yeah. Window yeah. washers come with it? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, so okay, so somebody owns a lot, they can come to you and, and build this out. What if what if there was a lot that came open on the MLS? Mm -hmm. Would you guys be capable of buying that lot with the intention of putting our house on it? No, we would refer them back to you as the broker to represent them on that. So okay. that you, in, in essence, you get that sell and yeah. then you get the sell of the home. So okay. what, what are the, some of the easy things that we can look for when we're looking at lots? Yeah, so G, use GIS, uh -huh. right? So you pull your tax ID number in there. The first, you make sure your layers are on. You want to look at your floodplain and your wetlands. Those are the two biggest ones. Mm. If you put your topos on there, you can look at if you got a lot of rigidity in the lines on there, that means you got a lot of fall. Okay. And in the lot, so you gotta be careful there. And that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. So obviously X flood zone if we can do it. Yep. Um anything to worry about engineering uh systems or it's the, you it can't depends. really tell. Okay. You know, that's just a DD thing. So it's, it's eleven twelve hundred bucks to perk a, perk a lot. So let's just say I'm a buyer, I buy the lot. Will's my guy that's at, at True Homes. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the lot down into a contract and then he would advise me to get surveys done, title insurance and uh, water sewer availability. So I'm gonna do all of that as the as the lot buyer because it's my dirt that I'm mm -hmm. buying, right? And then um, if it's not water and sewer, then he's gonna advise me to perk it. So I need to know mm -hmm. What, based on DHEC, what can I put on there? Mm -hmm. Because some of your engineered systems are twenty-five to forty-five thousand, depending on your soil. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Where a traditional system is, you know, thirteen to nineteen thousand. Mm -hmm. So there's a big delta there yeah. that you have in your cost. So it's just important in due diligence to at least do four and two. Right. It's going to take four weeks to get through all this stuff. Four and two, and make sure you're walking through those steps, checking the boxes, to ensure that because it all starts with the dirt, right? To ensure that you got a good lot to build on. Okay. Or it's within your budget to pay the engineer fees because sometimes there's some beautiful lots. It's like 
I could buy it right, it doesn't matter because it's seven acres. It's where I want to be. It's beautiful land. It's not going to perk, but I'll drop $35,000, $40,000 on an engineer because globally I'm buying at 14,000 acre versus 40 or 50,000 acre, or in most cases on a traditional lot, 120 to 140,000 acre, depending on where you buy that. So it's all relative to the person, and we can help walk them through that and make good decisions. So if you're if you've got clients that want to build a duplex, yeah. a quad, a hundred townhomes, we can do that as well. So yeah. Yeah. and essentially, they, they, if they're if they're experienced and understand the debt part of it is one thing. If they don't, if they're just an investor, then it's a little longer cycle because we gotta you know get we don't do the land development for them, but we can help them. Uh, through engineering and through some of the relationships we have to get their land plan in order. Um, to find the right people to do it, is what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, we'll facilitate oh, yeah. the relationships. Oh, okay. my God, that's a, that's a big deal. There, yeah. There's a lack in this, there's a lot of investors that want to own a quadplex yeah. yes. or, or duplex mm -hmm. in this market. Yeah. That they, they don't want to buy an apartment building. Right. They don't want to buy a single family and they can't get their hands on too many duplexes because we right. don't have many of those around. So yeah. the ability to have a piece of property and then put a two or four units on that one piece of property from an investor's perspective could be a home run. And it'd be new. Yeah. And, and new, that's right, because the duplexes that are out there are, are 25 years old. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And if you look on the, the OIL flyer, the, the we can build like uh, anything, right? So we got, we got a ton of different plans from, you know, down and dirty, you know, lower rental, you know, I'm saying lower by like amount of rent that you can get in a sub market yeah. to four story walkout terraces off the back, mm -hmm. right? With the media room on the fourth floor, <laughs> full bath and a terrace that looks out, everything in between, right? So depending on um, what they're looking for, I had responded to an email this morning, it's in Goose Creek, they've got the land uh, and they're wanting to build like 15, Three, five unit buildings right mm -hmm. so but they're they're very specific in what they want what their roi is what their you know what their how it performs for them so i'm working with them to identify the right plan that fits that space and spec level to keep their costs in line to achieve their return on investment so all right here we're on location on one of the build on your lots and this is a perfect example it's in a neighborhood in Monk's Corner. It was the last lot available. So uh, the owner was able to scoop up the land and then start the on your lot build uh, program. So we're gonna take a look around in this one, go check it out and let's see how it looks. So obviously still a work in progress, um, but as you can see, uh, they do a really good job. That master bedroom is huge. And um, you know, because they're still under construction, you're gonna see boxes and stuff like that around. But otherwise, um, they do a beautiful job. 
And uh, this is just one of the 40 different plans uh, that they're able to build. Uh, they have access to a lot more plans than just what they're building in the community. And um, you see that example here. So Jeff, a lot of different knowledge from Charles there, as you yeah, saw. He's a smart guy. He is a smart guy. I'm glad we know him. I, I hope he doesn't see this video because I don't want him to know yeah, that I think We would never admit that to no, him. No, I wouldn't say it to Absolutely him. Absolutely not. Um, but if you want to learn more, definitely click the link in the description. We can set up a call. Uh, we'll get you registered with True Homes. It doesn't commit you to anything or anything like that. It just allows us to go down the road of, hey, this might be a possibility for me. Yeah, right? totally. And don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos. We want to show you more about what's going on in the Charleston and Somerville market. If you're buying, uh, if you want to buy an investment property, you're looking to move, sell your home, we cover all that kind of stuff. So schedule a meeting with us and uh, we'll talk more about this true homes if uh if build it, on if, your life if it fits your needs see ya